today we are going to discuss on constructing a parsing table for an LR parser. At the end of the session, student will be able to construct a parsing table for an LR parser. The LR parsing consists of scanning the input from left to right and constructing the rightmost derivation in reverse. Recognizing all programming language constructs is one of the aspects of an LR parser. It is more general in nature and detects synthetic errors as soon as possible. It has two components, a driver routine which is a program and a parsing table which is used by that particular program. A grammar is fed to a table generator which generates the LR parser table and the input is given to this driver routine which consists of the parsing table and the output is generated in the form of a parse string. For an example, let us take a grammar E gives E plus T or T, T gives T into V or V, V gives A or B or C or D. From this particular grammar which is in the uh, normal form, we see that this context free grammar produces six rules which are given as below, which are the alternatives of the rules indicated in the grammar above. Let us pause now for a while and recollect how we have drawn a deterministic finite automata for a grammar in the last year in the TOC subject. This is the DFA drawn for the grammar which we have given. It consists of nine states and every string in that particular grammar can be passed. For example, E plus T or T into V. We introduce a new start transition which leads us to the highest term, non-terminal of our particular grammar. We introduce S gives E and we have now the transitions I1 on an input E gives I2, I2 and input plus gives I3 and so on. The entries in the action field are the entries which are developed for the terminal symbols. Action field has three kinds of entries, a shift, accept and a reduce. For the definition of shift, if we have a transition from I1 to T is equal to IJ, then the action of IT is equal to SJ in our passing table. So transition I1 ID gives I8, then action 1 ID gives S8, transition I3 ID is equal to I8, then action 3 ID is equal to S8, transition I6 ID is equal to I8, then action 6 ID is equal to S8, similarly transaction I2 plus is equal to I3, then action 2 plus is equal to S3, transition I5 star is equal to I6, then action 5 star is equal to S6, Transition I9 star is equal to I6, then action 9 star is equal to S6. For the except we have, if the string S gives the highest non-terminal E of our grammar and this exists in the state II, then set the action $1 is equal to except. So S gives E exists in the state I2, then set the action $2 is equal to except. Before understanding the third type of action, let us review the functions we have studied first and follow in our theory of computation subject. For first, if alpha is a string of the grammar symbol, first of alpha is a set of terminals that brings the strings derived from alpha, where alpha is a string. If alpha produces empty strings, epsilon, then epsilon is also in the set first alpha. The rules to be followed are, if x is a terminal, then first of x is a set consisting of the element x. If x produces epsilon is a production, then epsilon is also in the set first of x. If x is a non-terminal and x produces y1, y2 up to yk is a production, then place a terminal small a in the first of x if for some i a is in first of yi and epsilon is in all of the first yi, y1, y2, yi minus 1, that is y1 to yi minus 1, all produces empty strings, then epsilon is in first of yi for all j is equal to 1 to k, add 
epsilon to the first of x. For reviewing the function follow, we find that if follow of A is done for all non-terminals capital A, apply the rules until nothing can be added to the follow set. Let us now review the Let us now review the function follow. To find follow for all non-terminals capital A, apply the rules until nothing can be added to the follow set. Here we use the rules, place dollar in follow of S set, where S is a start symbol and dollar is the input right marker. If there is a production, A produces alpha B beta, where everything in first of beta, except for epsilon, is followed in follow of B. If there is a production, A gives alpha beta, or a production, A gives alpha B beta, then first of beta contains epsilon, that is, B produces all empty strings. Then everything in follow of A is in follow of B. Now reduce is the action. If any item capital A produces alpha exists in the state II, then we find reaching the state II, we have completely recognized the right hand side alternative of the grammar. This indicates that the reduction should be performed now. We need for which symbol reduction is valid. A simple rule is, if small t or terminal is in follow of A set, then reduce alpha to capital A, encountering small t as the input. Example, the state I4 contains a single item, t produces V. Then the re reduction from V to t can be performed as per rule 4. Follow of t is equal to star plus dollar. Therefore, the action 4 star is equal to action 4 plus is equal to action 4 dollar is equal to R4. That is reduced by rule 4. Similarly, using rule 5, IT reduces to capital V. Then follow of V is equal to star plus dollar. I find ID to be transformed from I8 Therefore, the action 8 star is equal to action 8 plus is equal to action 8 dollar is equal to R5. Using rule 3, follow of T is equal to star plus dollar. I find V to be transformed from I7. Therefore, action 7 star is equal to action 7 plus is equal to action 7 dollar is equal to R3. Using rule 2, follow of V is equal to plus dollar. I find T to be transformed from I9. Therefore, action 9 plus is equal to action 9, star, 9 dollar is equal to R2. Using rule 1, follow of E is equal to plus dollar. I find T to be transformed from I5. Therefore, action 5 plus is equal to action 5 dollar is equal to R1. For the non-terminals, we use a function called as go to. Go to contains the transitions of all non-terminal symbols. If transitions i i n is equal to i j, then go to i n is equal to j. Remember, capital letters are used for non-terminals. So transition i1 of e is equal to i2. So go to 1 e is equal to 2. Transition i1 t is equal to i9. So go to 1 t is equal to 9. Transition i1 v is equal to i4. Then go to 1 v is equal to 4. Transition I3T is equal to I5, then go to 3T is equal to 5. Transition I3V is equal to I4, then go to 3V is equal to 4. Transition I6V is equal to I7, then go to 6V is equal to 7. Let us take a while to think of the entries in the table we have just computed as actions and go to. Remembering actions are for non-terminals and go to are for terminals, we now trace our table as below. We have 9 states, 1 to 9. We have actions on terminals, id, star, plus, dollar, and go to on e, t, and v. And we put the results of action 1d is equal to s8 in the cross section there, action id, 3 is equal to S8 and so on and we fill this particular table. This table is going to be used 
to parse a string of the form a star b plus c or any other string which is encountered in our source program. I have used the following references. Thank you.